CKD is a disease that has very limited treatment options, and this is mainly due to the complexity of the disease and the many interplaying biological mechanisms which are causing the disease. There's a wealth of information available for CKD, but the challenge has been how to integrate this information in a meaningful way. Data has generally been analyzed in silos, and we were interested in a system in which we could integrate this data in scalable and flexible manner. During the collaboration, we've built on top of the Nevernet AI knowledge graph. This graph is a disease agnostic representation of biomedical data that integrates information for a wide range of sources in both structured and unstructured formats. And we use machine curation to harmonize all of this information into the knowledge graph. We've used the benevolent AI target prediction machine learning algorithms to reason across all of this information and suggest targets for CKD and the underpinning mechanisms to the joint teams of biologists and clinicians. In the first iteration of the knowledge graph, uh, the knowledge graph created several different hypotheses. So what we uh, within ASAD, our renal experts, went on to uh, try out these targets. And what we looked for was novelty, uh, safety uh, and define the role uh, in CKD from a biology perspective. We've already had some success uh, in terms of a recent milestone by identifying a novel AI generated uh, CK target for CKD. Um, and now we're, we're taking that to the next level. We're identifying new targets and making sure that we uh, not only identify the targets, but also bring a precision medicine strategy uh, along with those targets. Uh, and by doing this, we hope to have higher confidence in the targets that we select and, and ultimately enter the AstraZeneca portfolio. These targets were assessed then using other tools which allowed us to see this target in the context of the data available, in the context also of the mechanisms and tissue and cell expression data that we had available. So that we could not only identify these targets, but also understand clearly the underlying biological rationale. And this allowed the team of CKD expert to select some targets over others in, to prioritize them for experimental testing. So what the knowledge graph actually helps us with is uh, contextualizing all of this data and uh, help us to kind of nail down and identify the relationships between the different mechanisms and, and where our gaps in our understanding is. So today we're actually able to slow the progression of CKD, uh, but in the future we really aim to stop the disease and ultimately actually repair the kidney itself. For me, this collaboration has really highlighted how scientific progress really depends on teamwork. When experts of different disciplines integrate their knowledge in an organic and multifunctional manner, creating a relationship of trust with each other, that's when really scientific progress can happen. We cannot wait to see what the next steps of this collaboration will achieve. The key to our success is a sheer ambition to make an impact in the patient's life suffering from CKD.